appears to be some sort of giant hand reaching out of that building. Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Baltimore, Maryland. And even more specifically than that, we are in front of the American Visionary Art Museum. This is a museum, to my understanding, some motorcycles going by there. They were very loud. My understanding is, this is maybe what some people would call folk art. I know folk art has different definitions, but often I visit places where people decorate their yards or create castles out of their house. I think that is the sort of art that we're about to see here in uh, the, I'm sorry, in the American Visionary Art Museum. I blanked there for a second. So if you'd like to please follow me. in here we can see the uh, stained glass here the broken up glass kind of see a fractured version of me look at this these interesting rotating characters not even entirely sure what that is made of little wooden objects of some sort if you can tell what this is made out of leave a comment in the comment section it says good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite and of course you can sleep and relax under the smiling face of Alfred E Newman there's a lot going on in this house here you know this person is an eagle this person's a deer there's a snake right there and down here we have an owl that has pulled a gun on a giant dog person's eating a snake and then that's the devil this here is called final battle and this character here with the snake wrapped around I mean, you can see it's wrapped around their foot there an amazing piece of work here's a wood carving of Albert Einstein This amazing collections of apes right here. You can see the gorilla there. Take a close look at how ornate the design is. Cute little monkey up there. And over here we have an orangutan hanging from the tree. There's actually a little baby orangutan there. Look at his eyes. These are really amazing sculpture and then the most vicious of the group here the baboon or i guess technically it's a mandrill i believe a mandrill is a type of baboon if you know the difference between baboons and mandrills by all means leave a comment in the comment section oh this little monkey here snuck up on me this is a model of the lusitania ship that was shot down by the germans and uh, this one's actually made of matchsticks. Every little bit of it. These little matchstick lifeboats there. Actually take a look into the middle where it's been separated. I guess that happened when it was sunken. This piece is called Grandma Dents and Death. You can see Grandma laughing here. So this must be Death dancing in front of her. And this just as a side look in here. There appears to be um, dentures or artificial teeth enclosed in that uh, cube. This is somewhat disturbing. You got this guy eating a baby. I guess the last baby he ate is coming out of his mouth and his knees are also eating babies. So above all, do no harm. A little medical section. And look at this. This is a hairball. This is from a 12-year-old girl who is chewing on her hair 
Remember when your teacher would tell the girls not to chew on their hair in class? That's because this is real. You can see it's actually taken the form of her stomach. That's, look how fuzzy it looks. Oh my gosh. Can you believe that happens? Now here's the top of a skull and a tool to be used to drill a hole in the skull called, it's called trepanation. This, uh, this, uh, where they would drill a hole in your skull to help you try to feel better. It says this is from the Civil War. Someone had a contusion from a musket ball. And I guess they just drilled a hole in their head to help remove the pressure. This is an artificial leg made by two Japanese prisoners during World War II. This is a dress made to look like a horse. These masks here, or heads rather, were made by an artist during the pandemic to describe certain stages of the pandemic. You can see the different, explains the calm, preparing, divesting, different mental states that occurred during the pandemic. Pretty amazing figures there. Says the world will not be destroyed by those that do evil. And it has some portraits of very evil people. This is uh, Joseph Goebbels, one of the worst Nazis. And then there's Dylan Roof, the, the shooter for the Charleston church. And then Mike Tyson, who may not be a great guy, but has a very, uh, very evil company here. Yeah, I mean, look at this guy. There's a matchstick staff there and a little sock monkey. There's a St. Francis of Assisi, I believe. It's patron saint of animals. This wolf here, very interesting construction. And then look at this crazy little wolf right here. He's making a crazy face. You can see these feet here. It's got it where the theory that uh, every where in the body is connected to some specific spot on the feet. You can see the plague doctor's mask up there. Here is JFK, Gandhi, uh, Pope Francis, and Desmond Tutu putting together a puzzle of the earth. Look how happy they all look together. This looks to almost be a shrine to those that uh, helped us during the pandemic. We have the nurse there with the bedpan. And look at her. Her hat is actually a COVID virus. And the doctor there with the vaccine. And then a custodial worker there with the mop and bleach trying to clean up the messes. That's very cool. Look here, this winged man flying down the staircase. There's a life-size Polish doll. Got this little house here. Oh, look at this, look at this big stuffed cow. And then got a dog over there and some little chickens. There's a throne here made by Gregory Warmack, also known as Mr. Imagination. You can see the bottle cap medium there. I think he makes bottle cap murals. I think that's where I've heard of him. Look at this hanging here next to these paintings. We have these little tiny bees. Buzzing all the way up to the ceiling. Here we have a Pez collection. Look at all the different Pez characters there. These little miniature Pez characters have some Pokemon which are very kawaii. Oh, and this here, this is I think one of the original Pez dispensers where they didn't have the uh, characters' heads on them. Of course, the characters having heads I think made it way more popular. And look at this Stegosaurus here. It's made out of clumps of toys. There's actually some dentures right there. <laughs> look at all the different toys. There's a camera, all the things used to create the Stegosaurus. Some binoculars, a 
phone, another camera, down the uh, thagomizer there. This exhibit area is about sleep. Let's see different beds. There's a little, a little uh, baby bassinet there. Here's Animal Sleep by Hours a Day. Bats sleep almost 24 hours. Lazy bats. Horses only sleep three hours. That must be why they're always so high strung. House cats only sleep 12. See, they get a bad rap. But they sleep less than babies and uh, less than bats. The poor little sheep, poor little sheep. The irony, the irony there, the sheep only sleeps four hours a day, but the sleep, the sheep is often seen as a symbol of sleep. Very interesting. You can see this bed here. It's a big, giant bat hovering over the head of the person sleeping. And it says, do not touch, because there's some people that would take a nap in the middle of an art museum. See, the bathroom here has quite a bit of art strewn around. We just love when the theming of the attraction carries over into the bathroom. It's just a normal toilet though. So the stairway here in the rail they have like a stick, but that's a fake stick. It's like a metal stick. And then there's a metal piece of trash stuck in here. It's like a like a styrofoam plate or something. So these are Brian Dowdles. Baltimore Beasties. Yeah, it looks like there's a pers person hugging some sort of monster there. Look at that big, cool elephant. So this here is the flatulence post. It says, step on the mirror pad, the magic flatulence post. Let's... Oh, it, it, makes, it makes fart noises. I think I better, I think I, I think I better get off, okay. This answers the age-old question, what do farts look like? I guess these are, it's a Picasso poop, a triple flutter blast, ICU bomber. There's the flying spaghetti monster fart. Biscuit bangers, two UFOs waiting landing. This is all, this is all very different. It's an alien zephyr, at least I, yeah. What's, what's happening? Farts in literature? This is seriously a bunch of art about farts. I've never seen arts about farts before. It's different beast pictures here. Here's a, here's a man made out of cans here. Looks like he's riding some sort of exercise bicycle. Maybe he's pedaling really fast because he's made entirely of coffee cans, or that gives them some energy. It says that this machine here was rescued from the three mile, sorry, the fart machine's still going off. This, was, this machine was rescued from the three mile island uh, radiation plant. There again with the farts, the farts are gonna keep coming. But it looks like there's, it's like jokes in here. Some off color joke items in here. I don't know why this was being dispensed at the uh, nuclear power plant. Now here's the gift shop here at the museum. It's called Sideshow. And look at all these cool heads right here greeting us. I guess they're selling these floppy hats. It's nice little hats that keep your head warm. According to John Waters, Sideshow is the best museum gift shop you've ever been to in your life. Well, if it's got John Waters stamp of approval. Ooh, look at this, we got a Zoltar here. He's even got a little button of his friend Tom Hanks there on his vest. Also, there's Pee Wee Herman for some reason. But this Zoltar actually only takes quarters. So, got some quarters here to put in the Zoltar. Put those in and we'll give it a... Oh. You may have heard this. But Zoltar is here to tell you you can believe it. Age is simply a matter of mind. If you don't mind, then my friend, it doesn't matter. Well, go on. He can say like a little baby. 
But first, give Zoltar a little money, and I will give you a fortune. Up here, we got a set of fuzzy carnival punks. Just break the banker, flip the rich, topple the tax guy. So normally be hit with balls at the carnival and knocked over. Oh no, I've got a bad case of pickle fingers. Oh no. They also sell finger hands. So you can put finger or, or hands on each one of your fingers. But look at this, they also sell finger hands for finger hands. So you can just create an endless cycle. So you put the finger hands on the finger hands. That's kind of ridiculous. Got a bunch of really interesting little trinkets here. Little guitars. It's a guitar whistle, I think. Yeah, a guitar whistle. Little dinosaurs there. This is a historical reenactment with Native Americans and cowboys. And then here it says, go sports. Hooray for sports. And look at this. You have a possum air freshener. but that would make your car smell nice and possum-y. The chickens are just eating dinner there. <laughs> oh no, they're going crazy. <laughs> Face off, creepy vintage vinyl masks. What are these? Is that a, I don't even, this is so weird. These are definitely creepy. These are like, I guess you could wear them on your face. These are apparently for dogs with a drinking problem. It's a, a little squeezy liquor bottle. A lot of stuff in this gift shop. A lot of the things in the gift shop are pretty random here. Here's some classic uh, magic tricks. You have kitty crap. You have a poo pen. A poo, a pen made out of poo. Fake beer. I don't even know what fake beer is. There's soap that makes you dirty. There's chattering teeth. And the classic rubber chicken there. This little filing cabinet here almost looks like a, a, um, a like a library. What do they have in there? Is there Wild West? What is like super tiny little cowboys in it? And uh, what's that? Movie stills from Japan? Oh, that's weird. It's pretty random. And then uh, Plague of Frogs. Oh yeah, got little froggies in there. Finds your prince. Oh, little. Cool. Well, these are frogs too. I guess you gotta, you gotta kiss them. Look at this massive tiger hanging around up here. See someone's arm sticking out from his rear. See these different faces up here. Got a pink flamingo wearing a wig there. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that sock monkey there. And then there's uh, one of the uh, Shriders there. Check out these really cool vintage masks. Got a pink cow there. Look at this caveman. He's actually got a beard. <laughs> Hello, look at Dick Tracy here. Mar, you see? Mar. <laughs> what else? We got Jackie Kennedy and John F. Kennedy, Flying Nun. So cool. Oh, I think these uh, clowns here would probably previously blow up balloons. This is a hang in there Jesus lamp. You see, it's got the glitter swirling around him. Down here. Apparently this is not art, this is a light switch. Apparently people thought it was art and were trying to interact with it. Ooh, free range micro chickens. They said there's a separate building. You have to head through the sculpture garden here. There's a really cool duck in here. You see this big giant egg right here. And you wonder what kind of nest would an egg like that come from? And look up there. There's the nest. And then there's the big mama bird right there as well. Then look at this bird. He's got big surprised eyes and his feathers are trumpets. Here's the second building, the Jim Rouse Visionary Center. Let's see what they have in here. Ooh, the doorknobs are angel wings. It says, please turn slowly. So we'll slowly turn it. Oh, look at that, there it goes. You slowly turn it. Oh, I think it's birds, like water birds, on the water there, as the waves go up and down. These pieces of work are by Paul Spooner. 
We have little buttons down here where you can activate the activity. They turn that. We got, oh, he reveals a scarab. And then, then the scarab's upside down and dead. And that's something else. So the guy back there eating spaghetti out of the bathtub. His bathtub is completely full of spaghetti. There's sauce coming out of the faucet. I don't know. This will be an interesting experience, maybe to try once. But um, I don't know. Actually, I think it's a little weird. I don't think I want spaghetti touching my naked body and then going into my mouth. Oh, look at that it's a little cat ventriloquist right there. Oh, it's so cool. The guy's flogging a dead horse. So the horse, actually, the horse is maybe not dead. It still looks like he's twitching a little. As this uh, skeleton beats the crap out of him with a stick. That's our jumping nuns there. Little man riding on a horse there. It's a skiing dog. You can see him lunging forward on his skis. It says Topsy Taywell products for an ideal home. Yeah, jumping nerd. Not really sure what's happening there. It's called The Last Dodo. Oh yeah, you can see him flying. There's the Arcopter. I guess it's like Noah's Ark, but a helicopter, which is a pretty cool idea. See Noah up front steering the ship. There's just dinosaurs hanging out the side. It's the aquatic taxi here. Oh, it's like it's some very choppy water. I think the bird watchers, they're watching as the birds fly around their heads. We have a donkey chasing a <laughs> carrot there. He's flapping his wings, and the carrot has wings as well. Normally, donkeys nor carrots have wings, so this is an interesting situation. <laughs> What's Anubis doing there? He's removing his, removing his head. His head is, oh, he put his head back on. The Pegasus flying there. This is the muscle man. See his muscles bulging there at the top. Oh, here's the Trojan horse. You can see the Trojans there. Popping out the top. A little flying machine. You can see, the, I don't know what that is, a rocket ship with an acrobat on it. Oh, there's the anteater. You can see, the ant runs by, oh, and he just missed him with his little tongue. Get the ant, oh no. You can see the beautiful mermaid there swimming through the ocean. The camel there giving a bumpy ride to Anubis. Oh, Khan says go, clown says stop. Oh, is he gonna say go again? There he goes. Go, stop, can't make up his mind. Almost looks like Anubis is doing sit-ups here. Up here we got this big rotating hot air balloon and then underneath we have these giant pink poodles. These are actually vehicles. You actually have like little bikes underneath where you can drive these massive poodles. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have an art car over here. Looks like it's covered in little teeny tiny bottles. Look at the windshield here. It looks like there's some seashells along there, but mostly bottles. Oh, more seashells back here. Oh, and the back is very interesting here. We got a little cluster of Easter bunnies in there, as well as Mother Mary, some uh, paramedics and doctors, and then an accordion up here at top. Here we have a rotating sculpture of Divine, the probably the world's most famous drag queen it's here from the Baltimore area, starred in the John Waters movies. Oh, there she comes back to, to rotate. It's a pretty amazing sculpture, and it's actually a towering towering sculpture there. Here is Emily Duff's bra ball, a huge ball made of bras, kind of in the tradition of the world's largest ball of twine and other balls like that. I don't know if this is the world's largest bra ball. Definitely the largest one I've seen personally. You see the, get up here so you guys can see the detail of all the individual bras, all shapes sizes, and colors. Here is a woman breastfeeding her young child there. Other sculptures as well. 
Here we have the world. Here we have the world's first family of robots. And look at them, they're amazing. Let's check out these robots. I love, I love his mustache there. And then I guess, I don't know. I don't know which robots, you know, what their roles in the family are. This one's got the long eyelashes. He's right here. I guess that's their little robot dog. You can see he's wagging his tail there. Very cool little family of robots. Oh, these robots here, holding hands. Young robot love in the air. Oh, there's a piece of Howard Finster's art. Probably one of the most famous folk artists of all time. This little teeny tiny orchestra there. All the different instrument players. Looks like they're setting up a banquet for this building here. You can actually see the this airplane hovering above the floor there. Look there, that one's got a real human leg bone in it. We have a portrait of Julia Child. She's got a dead chicken right there. It says bad habits, please try to avoid. You try to avoid having drunken brawls, watching television, making poor eye contact, borrowing money, sexy, <laughs> sexy ways, avoid sexy ways. Thank you for joining me here today at the American Visionary Art Museum here in Baltimore, Maryland. Some really cool pieces of art. Very lovely museum and a really cool, and a really super cool gift shop as well called Sideshow. So uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you like these videos, consider subscribing. It'll let you know when new videos come out and uh, helps me out. And uh, if you'd like to help the channel in other ways, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, if you're interested in the custom enamel pins, they are in the gift, the Etsy shop that's in the description of this video. All that helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.